Hi everyone, welcome back to my next video. I know there are a lot of you out there who are being forced into your vehicles or want to be in your vehicles, whichever one applies to you, but you don't have any money, extra money, to do a big elaborate build. You don't have the skills, the tools, so on and so on. Uh, you can't find anyone to help you, so you just are going because you love it so much or because you just don't have the money to live in an apartment anymore. So. A lot of us are doing no build builds and I wanted to try out a, uh, a cot. This is a Coleman Trailhead 2 cot. Uh, it's also, if you look it up on Amazon, it's also called a military style cot. It's $45, which is really, you know, Coleman makes good stuff. Uh, I don't know that I've ever bought a Coleman product that I thought, well, this is bad. I don't think that's ever happened. I've, they're all good, solid, middle of the road products that work and work a long time. That's been my experience anyway. So I thought I would try it for $45. And if you need a bed, this could really get you going for a long time until you're ready to build your own bed and do your own build. For no build build, this is a good solution. The size is almost ideal. It's six foot two. That's how long it is, 73 inches. And so it's going to fit the majority of us. Now, if you're six foot four, obviously this isn't the solution for you. You're gonna to have to spend a little more money and get a bigger cot. There are lots of them out there. But if you're like, well, I'm 5'8", and I usually sleep on my side, a little curled, and I can fit on this, no problem. And six foot two should fit in a lot of your rigs. So uh, I've got a tent set up here. Some of you are going to be forced to live into tents. This is a nice teepee I'm testing. I've got it out, testing it in the wind, seeing how it holds up, it's doing pretty well. So far, I'm really happy with it. It's $289, and I can put a wood stove in it, and I will probably do that and show you how that works. But So this will fit right really well in there if you're short enough to fit on a six foot two bed, and I, w I will be. I'm actually gonna planning on sleeping in this thing to test it out. So it's, and it's 35 inches wide, which is unusually wide, so it's a blanket, uh, not, it's not a blanket as such, it's uh, fabric, it's, uh, probably a heavy duty cotton that you sleep on. So there shouldn't be any bars under it. It should be pretty comfortable. And uh, I also have, and we'll test on it, a, uh, a Thermarest style self-inflating pad. I think between the two, the cot and the pad, it will be very, very comfortable. The great thing about the pads is you can make them firmer or softer so I think this could be a real solution for I got to go now, whether uh, you're just sick of your old life or if you've just got your eviction notice. The one thing that the reviews said on Amazon was it could be hard to get it all assembled because a couple of the legs really fit together hard. So we'll get, get it out and see if that's true. So I'll have a link for this down below. I will use it and test it myself and find out how I, what I think. And uh, you, if, I, if you want it, you can get it at one of those links below. And of course, I'll make a little money. I'm an affiliate and I don't object to that. And I hope you don't. It supports up to 300 pounds, uh, 75 inches by, th oh, it's 30 inches. I'm sorry, I misled you. It's 30 inches wide, it's not 35. And my pad is 30 inches, so. We'll see how well it fits in there. It's a folding steel frame, uh, military style, that's what they call it. So it's 30 inches wide. This is an unusually nice stuff bag. That's a good high quality bag. All right, I don't know, what is this gonna be like? I am, these things are, assembling things is a Chinese torture for me. You might as well go after my uh, fingernails or poke things in my eyes as tell me to assemble something, but. The sacrifices I make for the community. Oh boy. Kind of a first world problem is an oh poor me, I gotta buy things and test them and build them. That's a first world problem. Okay, so that goes like that. And uh, only as a horrible last resort will we look at the instructions. Okay, what do these do? Oh, this goes out here, uh, somewhere, <laughs> somewhere. Let's see, that's probably about how it goes, like that. And then it needs a, a spreader. And they say, the, this, these are the spreader bars, and they say this is the hard part. So there's holes, 
and you can't really see it, but there's a, a thing for the whole, this to go in. So it almost certainly goes in like this and over and in there. Oh my, yeah, I can see this is going to be really hard. You got to really stretch it. And this is will be the easy end. The other end will be the hard end. The first one will be easier than the second one. Yeah, this is not really any big deal. So that just snaps in there. So that's the spreader bar. Okay, <laughs> so far so good. <laughs> Where'd that other bar go? I've lost it, of course. All right, now this is the one that every, I, many of the reviews commented how hard it was. And I can see already why, because you got to stretch this thing down tight. And the canvas is still really new and clean and unstretched. So yeah, it's got to go a couple inches more over. One should be easy. That should be easy. This should be an adventure. So now the key is pulling this, just pulling this apart until it goes far enough. <clears throat> go fast. Yeah, they're right. This is hard. And I'm an old guy. Okay, so I think I'll, I hope this will do it. All we need is some leverage. You got a long enough lever, you can move the world, they say. Let's see if we got a long enough lever. Oh yeah. Over it too far. Come back. Oh, oh, it's so close. Ah, success. Mind. Over matter. That's all it takes. Just a lever. All right, and so there it's done. It's, she's all assembled. It's 17 inches tall. That's going to give you a lot of uh, a lot of uh, room underneath. And it's wide. And let's sit down, lay down in it. See if it'll pop under old fat man's weight. Looks okay so far. So I got, looks like a couple inches at the bottom. Oh, not a lot of extra room. There's no bar in the middle. That's a big thing is that there not be a bar in the middle. I could easily get a, a, a uh, yeah, my feet are completely on even with shoes and I've got enough room here for a pillow. It couldn't be a big pillow or the pillow would fall off, but I got room for a pillow. And, you know, I easily have room. Now, and if I put my hands out here, I'm on a hard bar. I won't be doing that. But here, right here, just like a normal wood, person would, just your arm to your side. They're completely inside. And uh, the big thing is, can you sleep? I don't sleep on my keys normally. But. So if I had a pillow, oh, yeah. I can sleep really comfortably. And for $45, I believe this cot is a real deal. Real, a real deal. I don't know the endure, you know, how long will it last. You never know until you've had it for a long time. But um, I think this is can, could really, really work and be a good, good item for a lot of you. See it upside down, it's just X's. I, in military style, I think this is a standard uh, thing for cots. Uh, is this military style and you do have there were a few complaints about these bars that stick out here you know I could see myself catching on that but if you're going to cover it with blankets probably then that's not going to matter you just hit a blanket and you won't hurt yourself you won't certainly won't cut yourself it's 17 inches here a lot of storage that's huge you get a lot of storage and if, if, uh, if the floor is uneven, which if you have a minivan, it will be, I think the easy way around that would be just to put uh, like a, a two by six, two by, I'd get a two by six and get a two by six across here. And then you could raise it an inch and a half at a time 
and then you, you could micro adjust it uh, just by putting stuff in it you know, underneath it to to adjust corners. That'd be pretty easy adjustment, I think. I think uh, I think it could work uh, really well. Probably most of you are too young to remember this. There used to be a uh, an old western in the 50s and 60s, uh, which I remember, called "Have Gun, Will Travel." Well, we're going to be "Have Caught, Will Travel," and why not have caught? Why not travel? So. Hopefully, I'll get this thing tested for you. I'll set it up, sleep on it a few nights, tell you what I think, and we'll go from there. So I'll throw her in the old tent, and we'll take it from there. Stay tuned. This is the REI uh, Thermbarest type self-inflating pad made by REI Company, $136. And let's see how these will work together. You'll notice right off that the pad is actually longer. Uh, I think it's if it's flush down here, it's a good, oh, three, four inches longer. That's going to keep your feet or heads from hitting the, the bars. And uh, let's see if it's any comfortable at all. Uh, this is a little wider than the bed. And I love these Thermarests. I slept a lot of nights on Thermarest style. This is REI brand. But yeah, this is, oh man, this is really, 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 really comfortable. And you know, it solves that problem of your your arms, you know, if they hang off, if you sleep like this, and I do a lot like this, then my arms aren't hitting this bar on either side because the thermarest hangs over. And I can add or, or uh, add a few puffs of air or take a few out and make it as soft or as hard as I want. Right now, it's absolutely perfect. This could not be more comfortable. I could sleep on this so well forever. Let's see what it looks like on the side. Uh, and again, it's covering the bars, all the bars. I can't bang myself on the bars. Oh yeah, oh man, this is good. So so this is 136, the pad, the, the cot was 45. That's almost, uh, uh, what's that, 190, 180? I don't know how much it is. We'll put the number up on there. The tent was 289. Uh, you're set, and I bought a wood stove for the tent. For two seventy nine, so I don't. We'll put all that together for you. So for that amount of money, which is really not very much, you can have a very complete and comfortable home. I mean, this is a very complete and comfortable home. That's not going to be pleasant in the wind. Uh, it, we've I've had it up in a lot of bad winds. It stays up, but it's going to be bad sleeping in it. That's why your car, your minivan, needs to be your last resort. So you go into them. To do your sleeping when the weather is really bad. That's just that's just the way you have to think of it. When the weather isn't really bad, which is probably 90% of the year, 80-90% of the year at least, then this would be super, super comfortable, big and nice. I think this is a real positive and possible solution for not much money. Rather than going out and spending five or ten thousand dollars, if you can get all of this together for two, three, four, five hundred dollars added the wood stove for for way less than a thousand dollars you've got a complete home pretty darn comfortable so uh that's something to think about and uh we'll go on and we'll keep testing these we'll i'll sleep on them for a while we'll find out how it goes so i went ahead and slept a couple of nights on this i found it extremely comfortable uh the cot just works really well there's no bars in the middle that's got the nice loop and this uh the, the mattress just fills in really really well uh it covers the two bars it covers the side bars so that you're you're kind of encased inside it and it's it just it's very very comfortable so if you're looking for about as cheap a setup as you can get for a bed to go inside a tent or inside the back of a pickup a minivan anything that will hold a cot of this size, then this is my number one recommendation for you. Again, it's the Col it's the uh, Coleman uh, uh, Army style cot. There'll be a link down below, and uh, it's very very good. And this is made by REI. It's the two and a half inch uh, comfort version. And I'll put a link. Uh, REI doesn't sell on Amazon, but I'll put a a uh, a link to an equivalent Thermarest. I've always owned Thermarest before. 
REI tends to be just a little bit cheaper, so if you have a, an REI near you, go ahead and check them out because I think you'll be pleased with their products. They're a little bit less, and they're really, really good, high-quality products. You've got about $200 invested for a complete bed. Now, if you've built your bed inside your rig, then I highly recommend a Thermarest or this REI brand uh, self-inflating pad as a mattress. They're tough. You can give it a few extra puffs in air and make it harder. You can open it up, let some air out, make it softer. You can adjust it really well to you, your needs. I owned uh, an, a Thermarest Mondo King, and I slept on that for five years, minimum of five years, and I loved it. I just thought it was the most comfortable bed I've ever slept on, and I, if my back needed more support, I could put, give it a few puffs. If I wanted a softer one, just let out a little bit of air and it's softer. Uh, it's They're very big. You can buy them in different sizes to fit your rig. You just have to choose the size that works for you. All right, all in all that to say, this is a great setup. The uh, uh, a Thermarest self-inflating pad type uh, mattress and the, uh, and the Coleman uh, military style cot. Great setup. Check out the links below. Highly, highly recommended. If, you get, if you've got anything out of this video, like us on YouTube, subscribe to the channel, hit that thumbs up button, and we'll talk to you later.